We're having your traditional turkey and mashed potatoes, broccoli casserole. Oh, My sister-in-law told me about this program. Local families will adopt, so to speak, a soldier for the day. We just felt that it was the right thing to do this year to open our homes to not only family, but now new friends. We have two soldiers with us today, Bill Wheeler and John Holloway. I come here with the awesome family that's going to feed us. Who doesn't like a fried turkey? <laughs> it really feels like a blessing that there are people that still care, willing to help soldiers. Put this up for two more minutes. Perfect. My unit deploys in May of 2009, and I'll be gone for 12 months. With the military, you know, it's part of your job. You're either going to be home for Christmas or you're going to be in a desert. In March, I deployed to Afghanistan, so I'll miss next Christmas as well. I have a little boy at home and he turns 13 months. Two daughters, four and five, Annie and Chloe. This will be the first Christmas I haven't spent with them, along with ne next Christmas. My family makes sure that he understands what I'm doing is for the best in him and to help him and make sure we have our freedom in this lovely country. They're making it the best they can. It's not quite the same without the whole family being there. Her husband is deployed right now in Iraq. He's in the intelligence. He's an interrogator. So everybody wish him a safe trip home. It has been hard since we're newly married. We'd like to especially give thanks to our two soldiers that are here today. I'm expecting him to call since it's Christmas. I just hope that he's having a decent Christmas. Amen. Amen. It's kind of like losing your best friend and not knowing if they're ever going to come back. Oh, this is an awesome dinner. I'm very grateful that this family has invited me into their house. Awesome cooks, by the way. I thought I cooked those. 